<laughs> Super Smash Bros. has like some of the most juicy drama of all time, so I was watching it. Wait, wait, wait. Is it recent? Yep. Like, fuck. This is about it, you mean? The only thing I heard about re Smash recently is that, like, fucking weird ass guy with, like, actually, you know. He has, like, paranoid schizophrenia or something, or he thinks that, like, Leffen is. Oh, oh ha that's yeah. hacked. Take over the world. That's hacked. Yeah, the that's the TF1 trick. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, really? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even realize SSBM that. SSBM hacks? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that I, video I was weird. About him. I told Soren about it, that, that drama because he was asking hacks about TF builds and, like, TF matchups. Mm -hmm. I know Jensen uh, talked ago. about it, too. Oh, yeah. It makes sense. You just talked to the highest rated one tricks. Yeah, that, that was such a Wonderful. weird experience reading that <laughs> and, like, seeing the video too says he i actually only skimmed the video says, because it was like an hour long five. it was two and a half hours long <laughs> oh whatever it was it was ridiculous like i, I can it imagine making really... like a five minute ten minute video of like you know evidence but like that is that was excessive yeah i don't know it, i assume he's going through some shit that doesn't seem right but i don't know enough about it yeah i mean going through some shit or um you know, he needs to get some, get some outside help. I like, I like hearing about other games, drama. Dude, doesn't Always everyone sense. love hearing about drama, especially when it's someone you know? <laughs> it Like, people love drama as long as they're not involved. That's how it always goes. Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, Silji, I think Silji's gonna encounter a really similar problem as last game. They're just not going to have enough damage. I think Zen is pretty shitty against a bunch of melee. I was actually talking to Dennis yesterday. Because, uh, you know, they're, they're playing contracts today. So I was asking yeah. him, you know, he's feeling okay. And uh, I also told him that, like, Zen seems really shitty when they're all melee. Because you actually just go and die in two seconds. Um, and he's like, yeah, that's actually true. Like, I think a lot of people don't realize it. Just... Champ is only tanky conditionally. And also, it just feels like Silji's damage. Aftershock Lissandra. Xin Zhao. It's, it's, it's fucking low. Yeah, I mean, if they get behind, for oh. sure. Oh, very nice by by CLG. Oh, wow. He's... Is it Can kill? they keep going? I think Tactical's yeah. gone. Yeah. Wait. Okay, smoothie gone. Why is he not dying? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? He stayed alive for so long. I think it was a bit of a misplay by, I, I want to say. Did they misclick on Tom maybe with some yeah, autos? Did, did, did they auto Tom or did Tactical wait on his heal for a very long time? They're I think kind he of out of juice at that point, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, there's no more damage. I want to see if Tactical, so Tactical is really good at holding heal until the last possible second, actually. That's what I've noticed playing against him. Huh. He, he does that pretty consistently, and so I want to... Lemon hates when Siki again. does that. <laughs> Do you remember that? Yeah, he's like, stop fucking trying to heal bait people. <laughs> it's not a thing. He's like, work. just fucking heal early. <laughs> oh, no. The way the way, the way way that that could have worked is Tactile could have waited out Ignite. Oh, by waiting on heal shit. So long. Oh. Finn. Wait, did Finn oh. just stun on a minion? Uh, I hope not. I'm pretty sure I unless, just saw the animation. Unless he already had it on him. We didn't see it. Don't quite know what it looks like in the skin. Hmm. I feel like you should have died there, Yankins. Yeah. Jenkins. Yankins. Jenkins. It's not European, dude. Jensen. It's Jensen and Jenkins. <laughs> oh, here we go. You get to see it again. Here's here's the yeah. Here's the start of the all in. That, Smoothie, that does nice. a, Smoothie does a Angle. very early ignite. And I think Tactile might wait it out. Let's see. No, no, he, he healed. No, he, he, healed he healed during Ignite, yeah. Auto. Oh, Turtle canceled it, one auto. Yeah, but it, it looked like it didn't change anything. Core or something. Yeah, I, th I think it was just a straight cancel, but it wouldn't change anything. I think Smoothie was just level three, and he died a lot faster than he expected. Yeah. That's a real shame. I think that That's was no yeah, items for either side, right? Yeah. So it's like actually harder to straight kill you from that. 
Fieldy's balling is is pretty happy with that though. I think I think when you're trade killing on poke varus, doesn't feel that good. You want to stay like zero deaths and just choke the enemy AD out of. It's kind of like poke varus. Part of his job is to like starve the enemy AD carry. Yeah, because like yeah. a low econ game is is good for you. Um, if you like accelerate. Varus like, wants to be low econ. Like you're, you're, yeah, you're totally fine to be low econ as Varus, and and like more specifically, okay. I think you're you're in like a way better spot when the enemy to carry low econ. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, at some point they just giga out skill you, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he gets that a little bit early. Yeah. Oh. No, I, I actually like that on tank junglers, dude. Because like, if you don't get your Bami on your first buy, it's pretty fucking sad. Oh shit. Oh wow, dead. Big engage. Great, dude. Or is great he dead? Fucking <sighs> disengage. Wow. What this the looks good fuck? for TL. Yeah, the looks... Pope just died. 100 to zero. Yeah. It's that what? changed everything. Fucking like Sedge and other shit. He got kicked huh. on, on like his last 1% HP. I actually didn't even see Pope. I saw Tactical surviving for like way longer than I expected him to, though. Yeah, like Pope was gonna clean him up and then he got literally CC'd 100 to 0. Jesus. Yeah, I, I thought off the engage it would look good for CLG. Like, it's definitely their play they were going for. They had the TPs coming in first, but. Yeah, Belter just got smacked. You can see it on the replay. Sejuani. It's a Sejuani meta, boys. Speak is gonna be very happy. Oh, here it is. I, I don't understand the hate about Sejuani. I think she's fun. There was actually a, a small shit. window right here that Turtle could have ulted, uh, could have ulted Tactical away from four. Very small window. Okay, so Man. yeah, Pub got Sedge ulted. Yeah, and he in just one piece. dies in it. Man, he 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 was like, he was too slow to pull the trigger, Pub. He's kind of playing it like chillax, like oh yeah, I can probably kill Varus and then Sedge flash ults him. Yeah, I think a lot of the time when when you're playing like engage champs, you kind of don't expect to get engaged on. Telling like <laughs> a tankier champion like Liss, and you just don't expect they're gonna ever aim for you. But yeah, I mean that that is a pretty case. weird target. Yeah, because if it doesn't if you work, don't one shot her, she's gonna fucking ult. Yeah, herself but... heal up. Yeah, I think that's a good heads up play by Armeo. It's like no, yeah, they can hundred zero good. somebody like that. Yeah. Especially, it's literally if she doesn't have aftershock on, she's literally just a control mage. There's no nothing specially tanky about Liz. So. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. Based, based on draft alone, I, I think that Steel G's just in a lot of trouble. I like I haven't even seen a real fight, but I I can imagine that Lee Sin and Sejuani are never gonna die. Because a lot of CLG's damage is just big burst. It's like a it's like a flash renekton sun. It's like a list one shot. It's Tristana's burst. Their mm -hmm. sustain damage is like not really high. And usually those kind of champs get countered by by hard tanks. Yeah. Nine lives taken. Definitely seems hard for CLG to win fights. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're only target they can burst is Varus, but he's got Tom Kench with them. Yeah. Shit ton of front line. This is like a pretty fucking resident sleeper game. Yeah. yeah, it is. There's there's like a really really flow chart way for both teams to play. CLG is like look for side lane plays and probably lose. And then for TL, it's like oh we're gonna win in five minutes. We're gonna get this third drag and on the fourth one. Oh, wait. They're going for a fight. Jenkins has a good spot. I can't imagine CLG can ever engage. Like, oh, just... hold up. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, Pope got fucked. What's the angle? Okay. Maybe Tactical's fucked here. Seems pretty decent. Looks yeah. Good. Pope's dead, though. Can they kill our Mayo? Ooh, just barely not. Damn, they actually can't finish anyone here. Dude, this fight is so wild. It's... It's the same thing that I've been talking about, where they just have enough damage to kill one, and then they just run out of juice. Yeah. Oh. TL. I think TL can totally fight this. 
Oh, oh shit, I think Trisco has jump canceled my sedge. Oh really? Oh. Oh my god. Oh stab his white Can the turret save? Do it, him? Jensen. Do it. No balls. He's he's not gonna let Turtle leave, right? <laughs> oh. What's going on? Are they not gonna go kill Turtle? He's sitting Where's in the Where's the Tom ult? Tom ulti him. Yeah. Kill Turtle, guys. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he's fucked. He's so <laughs> fucked. What, what was he trying to do there? Turtle? I don't know. Yeah. Probably should have tried to get the wave. Yeah. I was, Jensen I think played that fight well. He wave. kicked Pobelter out, so he didn't get a good ult. Uh huh. I didn't quite catch that. Yeah, Pobelter like shot in his claw, and then Jensen kicked him before he could reactivate it. Uh, that's good. Man, I, I don't know if you guys feel the same, but I feel like in these games where there's so many melee, it's like really hard to tell who's going to win the fight. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're all it's just on like, top of each other. Ten bodies yeah. all, all on top of each other. Yeah. Damn, they actually went so hard for Varus. Oh, wow. This is the second fight that Pobo took just didn't do anything he actually flashed in so he could die like yeah he, his ulti did basically no damage Pobolter's just having a really bad game I mean the two big fights that we've seen he accomplishes nothing oh yeah I mean this went bad for C I actually think CLG think... could have came out way better in this situation but like they kept doing the dragon Went for a uh, failed re-engage. I think it was really it easy to tell that TL was going to win when CLG started drag. It's like, you're not so ahead. Yeah, they're kind of well, fucked. You're not ahead at all, but like you're not so much in a better position that you can just tank Dragon while getting flanked both sides. Mm -hmm. Oh um, shit, Sedge has Frozen Heart. Dude, I, I like this. It's very on-brand for Sedge. Frostfire Gauntlet, buying, Frozen buying Heart. Frozen items? Whoa. He should go Rylai next. Yeah. Oh. We got a tank battle. Ooh, that was yeah. a chunk. Tank battle. A Kali. Yeah, she's pretty tanky. Yeah, she is a tank. Pretty Kali bruisery. A notorious tank. Whoa! Is he gonna go in? Jenkins oh! wins that? Wow. What? See, look, she's tanky. Jenkins is so hot right now. She's tanky as fuck. I did not think Jenkins would win that. Damn. I wasn't sure either. But yeah. I think TSM is like one of the only teams in LCS who's like willing to just play a standard comp. A standard kiteback comp. I always see both teams oh playing like full gangbang like this. Oh, Bye -bye. that kick was huge. Was that the whole team? It was like a four-man kick. Ass. I'm not sure. Kick their ass. Kick their ass. Kick their ass. I'm gonna have to pog champ. I'm gonna pull what? back. And then. It's... Oh! 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 Take it! Do it! Do Take it! it! Are you watch. serious, Gensen? Please kill turtle. turtle. Buy a stopwatch. He bought yes. it. Yes. Yes. Gensen kill really him. didn't take that. Kill him. Wait. Yes. No. no. What are they doing to oh my, my boy? Come on, kill him. <laughs> God damn it. That was pretty funny. Oh! Oh, they got him. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. That's so good. How did Last do, second. How did they do Jason Tran like that? They did him dirty this game. <laughs> right, I'm gonna pull back on the lead kick. I'm watching for it. Oh! Holy shit, you're right, Medios. I didn't even see it. Guys, I think this game will go down in LCS history as one of the best games ever played. True. Yeah, dude. God. It was unforgettable. How many was the it? Was it three? I think it was three man? right now. Uh, or wait, was it uh, four? It was four. I mean, yeah, he oh, damn, that hit everyone. One nice. dude into the rest. Yeah. Yeah, Dota two prize pools always made leaks look like a joke. Dude, leaks had some it. fucked up shit recently about their prize pools. No, no one even what talks about it. Shit? Just <laughs> like. They were doing the crowdfunding thing for the skins and then just like stopped or yeah, like, you know, 2019 worlds, they haven't even updated what the prize pool was. Oh, wow.
Oh, actually, oh, it is updated now. Okay, it, it, it took, it literally took like a year and a half for it to get updated. It was super weird. Oh, dude, this is not including the skin money, which is all that matters. Well, yeah, I, it doesn't include the skin money to those teams personally, but I, like, it, it's also a trickle down for the rest of the teams. Like, if the top team is getting less, everyone else is getting like nothing. Yeah, that's true. Oh my god, I made 33k? And I didn't have to win a single game. So let's see, divided by five, that's like six and a half K per person. Let's go, guys. Whoa! From what? Who wants dinner? <laughs> For Worlds 2020. 2020, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'll, no, I'll I, take it. I was going to say, like, the skin is everything. Winning Worlds and getting the skin, you're going to make, like, millions. Billions! <laughs> Pick the right champ, dude. Imagine you win worlds and you pick a champ no one plays. You're like, and I'm gonna pick Zyra. Oh, it's like, fuck, dude. man. No one's playing that shit. <laughs> Just pick Lee Sin, man. Pick Ari. Like, I don't That's know. That's actually a good point. Fucking Lux, bro. Lux or yeah. Jinx? Yeah, God. What, what is the most played shit? Let's see. Who's the most played AD carry, Sneaky? Tell me right now. Uh, Ezreal? Shit, you're right. Second most played Kaisa. See? Yeah, Kaisa. I would for sure second. pick Ezreal or Kaisa. Flyfam. So this is kind of what Treese was saying uh, to me where Gwen is a blue side ban because you don't want to give the enemy team like last pick with it, but it's not a great blind. So like you wouldn't want to first pick Gwen because mm. there's counters. I mean, yeah. I'm going to be honest. Huni yesterday, I know he's amazing at Rumble, but like that, that looked fucking insane. Rumble looked so good. Perma pushing. So much damage. The, Maybe Gwen outscales eventually, though. What's considered like a Gwen counter? Because I haven't seen any matchup that looks like unplayable for her yet. I mean, the Rumble did well, but yeah, I'm like, not sure. It, it didn't seem like she had nothing she could do. I I, I should ask Treats more about like what those picks are, but um, maybe he doesn't want to leak it to me. Yeah, I probably wouldn't. It's want kind to of say. awkward to like tell a fucking streamer. <laughs> like, okay, guys, here's SK, what my team thinks. <laughs> yeah, like if they blind Gwen. No. Um, yeah, I mean, GP sounds and looks good, too. That's what Jenkins played against Sid in week one. Didn't uh -huh. look bad. Milking the good good. That good good. I think a good example of, like, a champ that can do both, a oh. more balanced champion, is actually Rumble. I think Rumble oh. is... Oh. Hello? Three oh. man. Oh, the flash in. That... Was uh, hold up. pretty fucked. Wait, what's, oh, what's that's going on, guys? Stuffed. Can he? Oh, what's Yo, going do on, it. You see, we go in. Uh, Pussy. One for one only? Are you kidding me? Yeah, that was. Terrible. That was actually like that was actually like a fucking heist by FlyQuest. The fact that they were able to go one for one there, like, wow. I thought that they were gonna get cleaned the fuck up because the dive kind of got scuffed. Oh really? But no, they. Yeah, I mean, if Diana yeah, was there, I yeah, mean, this but... execution was extremely scuffed. I feel like. I cannot There's understand. Not an angle I cannot here. understand FlyQuest TP yeah. here. But Renekton played it too there. well with the E. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I think he should have empowered Q and not stun. That's a little change for him because he needed a little bit more HP to survive there. Oh. Oh my. Yosui. He has God. flash. He has flash. Wait, what okay. game time are you? I think I'm ahead of you guys. Thirty. Or thirty. Wait, my timer's just frozen. Hold up. Oh, this looks really good. I think Jose can die. He has no flash. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's fucked. He's just gonna run a town now. He might be dead here. Possible. Okay, 45, 46. 47. Okay, I'm saying Mr. Cuban. Like, Palafox should not have TP'd, but because he did, there was this, like, weird situation where Yusui TP'd a little too late, and then it's like Yusui wanted to finish pushing the mid wave, so he, like, waited a second on his TP, but if he had just immediately matched, that would have been, like, so fucking good for Dig. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, by the way, are, is, are we going to get that dig guy to come on and fist fight Dardock on stream? <laughs> uh, yeah, he said he would be down to come on the stream to like shed some light from digging task POV. I didn't ask about including Dardock. No, we're not going to include that. That's, no. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Licorice is running it now. Yeah, you just gotta... Diana or Necton is actually such an insane combo. Lines up the Q. Yeah. What do you mean? Uh, I mean, stunned into guaranteed Diana Q? 
I mean, yeah. it sounds Diana like Diana, like, guaranteed gets all of her burst off. Uh huh. True. And you can't really itemize against it. I mean, it's the same idea as, like, Nidalee, right? Yeah. Yeah. I just think Diana's. The zero better. utility uh, AP champion with Renekton, where you, like, need to go Ninja Tabby against Renekton. Yeah, exactly. That is the combo. Uh huh. Yes, yeah. it'd be, like, 30. I, I think he may have biscuited as well. If he's running those. Limp biscuit. In these situations, oh, shit, it always happening? seems the, t the team that starts it is at a huge disadvantage. So I think. Oh, is Flyquest not going to... No way, they just oh. get out. They just it. I mean, they don't have Diana ult, so it is... Flash out. Oh. Johnson might have to flash here. Ooh. Is it enough to... Yeah. Enough. Damn, you see he didn't kick? No. Perfect. Dreams just wasted his flash there. He was completely fine. Um, But that was a lot of flashes burned from Flyquest. That's four flashes for them to get Herald. Holy I mean, shit. I would still rather have Herald, but... If Dig can make something happen off the end of that, that'd be really good for them. Mm -hmm. I mean, it should give Dig an advantage going to next dragon fight. I would have to see it again, but it just felt like Yasuo was kind of waiting for someone else to start the fight for him. Oh, this looks really good for Booking, Dig. Bolting Braum? Is that real? Oh, I heard Braum's God. really squishy. Wait, Afro playing oh Braum? God. Afro oh my God. Braum. Double TP. Oh. oh. Q snipe! Oh, Holy fucking go. shit! Yasui's oh, in there! Yasui's oh. in there, guys. Oh, oh Yasui! Holy shit. I'm on the edge of my seat. This is so close. <laughs> oh. Wait, wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. I, I think he kills him here. Ah, what? No! He actually had that. He had oh. that. He had that. He didn't want to believe that he had that. Yeah. Holy fucking oh balls. Oh my god, he didn't want to Damn, believe. Damn, these fights are fucking close. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Holy shit, Neo flashed out when he totally had the kill with just one more auto there. What a bussy. You think the fear would have went off? I don't think so, no. I mean, he could even, it like, short bit. flash just to reposition slightly out of auto range. Mm -hmm. Like, out of auto nocturne auto range. Yeah. God damn, dude. This is actually an insane fight. If Neo had ulti at the beginning, that would have been amazing. But what ended up happening is he gets it at the very end. Yeah, just based on his keys. Oh, that kick that hits Johnson. At... Very nice. God damn, dude. Holy fuck. And his ulti is barely coming up right here. This Q gets it. Oh. I don't know, dude. I think he had to flash there. Pretty yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. He, he had to he flash, had to but I was saying, like, if he could flash in a way that he could still hit the Let's Q. Let's auto one more. Yeah. Mm. I think that he needs the oh, Q I mean, to land. he has to break the tether range. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Because his flash let him, or didn't let him actually hit a Q. Oh? oh. This fight could actually, it's another TP by FlyQuest. Are you shit. serious? They just have TP permanently. Yo, Fake God, hello? This doesn't Fake God? look good no? for Dick. I mean, uh, Fly. Yeah. Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh my god! The Wait, Nocturne's here though. Oh! Too much, too much commitment by FlyQuest. Too much oh, commitment. Now they're gonna get on. Oh shit! Oh! Oh, this is the Renekton wet dream. Unless he. Oh, oh my god! god. Seven Q. Q. Oh my god! They're all dead. Man Q. Holy oh fuck! Oh my god, dude! That is the Renekton dream right there. Jeez. Q just healed him like yes. 800, dude. That was nuts. That was. It almost looked like he was going to die, but like... He yeah, if he didn't get that Q off, that would have been the bluest balls he could ever get. <laughs> Did Fly overextended so hard there? Yeah, too much, too much. But I think they do get a kill if they play this better. This is this is definitely on, a kill, right? On, on Akkadian. On Akkadian. Um, I, I did think Akkadian is positioning up a little too far here. Like Jose, Jose overheated on the crab. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that That's was really the only really reason why Akkadian doesn't dirty, get slowed actually. off of the engage. So like, like Jose is just not like, he doesn't want to commit to the fight in the beginning. And then Tristana ults Akkadian out. Yeah. yeah. So there was so I, I, many it, things that went wrong. It did there. stop a four man Diana ult from hitting them, which could have been bad. So I, I didn't hate Trist ult. That's true. Oh my god, 1 HP? Oh. 711. That's a fucking 7 11. cold the 7 meek. 11. Cold the goddamn meek. If Fake God was actually a real man, he would not have dashed out there.
Like he's actually kind of a pussy. Faker God. I, I kind of, I kind of don't respect him after he dashed out after that Q. Oh, like, oh yeah. Just, just uh -huh. go dash in one more time. No, I'm serious. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. If you're sure. like, if you get the Q off, you dash in anyways, right? Or if you don't get the Q off, you're dead. So like, don't be a pussy, bro. Just go in. Maybe. Uh huh. I think dashing out is probably the right play there. <laughs> How are they gonna kill him after he gets his Q off? Keep hitting them. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they're all literally one HP, by the way. <laughs> That's uh, everything he has built into same first item for Nikon. Yeah, it's Gore Drinker. Gore, with, okay. Uh, Ramble. How much gold is Gore from this? I don't know. Less gotta, than a thousand? Yeah, it's gotta be like 300 or something. It's a lot of gold in those items. Doctor is gonna give them numbers advantage here. Oh, if they can trade kill, no. that'd be sick. Oh, they couldn't though. Ah, man. It seems like neither team is respecting numbers at, or yeah, giving any respect to like TP, global mid, and that's what makes this game fun. Because both teams don't have any brain. It's just a great <laughs> game of league. No last goddamn game, respect. Last game, like, we got, we got like, 30 veterans, like, cumulative 600 years of, like, LCS experience. Everyone's playing respectfully. It's boring. There's Booba, no, like, random fights. This is what I want to see, guys. God damn. Not bad. Not bad. He's fake I like, god I like dead. Ravnus Hydra as real a lot. Oh. I think it's super cool. Oh, oh my god. Does it dive? Is it really gonna work? Wow, yeah. it does. They're double dead, huh? Damn. Black was just, just like so much with your bros. random AoE damage. Like, it's it's actually amazing to see this. Like, just how much raw damage they have to kill two Gore Drinker Bruisers from 100 <laughs> to 0 under turret in like two seconds. And yep. it just felt like they had damage to spare afterwards, too. Yeah. Having enough damage in your comp is, like, so big. If that was, like, CLG's comp, they don't ever kill anyone there. Blow your load, get him to half HP, have to run away, die. Yeah, yeah. Running out of damage is real. Dreams is flash, but he might die anyway. Looking pretty yeah. fucked. What was nice. Dreams thinking there? He's he's trying to do like the human ward where he like stands between the two lanes to like give vision for his teammates, but there's like so much danger there. Yeah. Yeah, just fuck it, man. She falls over dead. Run away. They don't have Diana ult now. They actually have to be careful when Neo has back. flash here. Bad. He can kite forever. There. It's a weird situation. Oh, dude, I think this oh is so God. good for Wait, Dig. Yeah, this yeah. is so good for Dig. Oh, shit. Oh, thank God, no! Oh, just, uh, somebody honor more. that motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> this game is so chaotic. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> it's actually funny, like, with the way the meta is, it's actually way more fun to watch the lower tier teams play. <laughs> <laughs> because, like, when, when it's, like, two apes playing against each other with, like, Lee Sin Nocturne, there's gonna be, like, a lot of random fights. No one knows who's gonna win. And then when it's TL playing, who's like calculated, smart, always taking the highest percentage chance to win, they just residents sleeping their way to victory. I mean, they just went True. on drag stacking because they they don't have to fight to win. It's so funny. Wait, Dreams is fucking griefing here, no? Like, yeah. What? <laughs> it's one thing to human word, but like he saw everybody and then he just <laughs> like, full sent it. Cornered himself yeah. and flashed in. Jose, did you guys see Jose sniping Gromp over the corner? Like, thanks guys. Huge. <laughs> He's just hard chilling. <laughs> oh, Afro is such a homie, dude. He's actually tanking everything in front of Neo there. Big yeah. Brahmi. Yeah. Afro is good at Brahm. He, he definitely hates playing the champ though. Oh, he he hates playing defensive champs. I think he's probably no, no. He now, loves though. enchanters. He absolutely loves enchanters, but he fucking hates Braum. Oh, interesting. Yeah, he he did he did love playing Soraka in that one split when it wasn't meta. Yeah, I mean I I played with him. I guess you did too. But <laughs> oh oh, yeah, you played with him more recently than me. 
yeah, on, on 100 Thieves, he was always, like, Does really down work? to play Channers. Oh my god, what they the got fuck? They got so, so high HP, right? Oh, oh my, my god. What is that dive? FlyQuest just loves going deep, guys. The FlyQuest just all Hide killed themselves girl. across the board for fun. Yep. Yeah. That's a fucking, like, no minion full HP dive on a Renekton who's got armor. <laughs> what? Huh. They don't even I, have healing think, reduction. No, no, I think they like thought that dive would work to other times. So you know, in their in their point of view, they're like, we dove redacted in twice already. It's got to work this time. But like, now he's actually fucking strong. Did, you know, it's so surprising. I don't know, man. I think looking at those items, there's really fucking no way he dies there. Yeah, yeah I mean, with no Unless minions. He shits himself. Yeah. I'm just trying to understand FlyQuest POV. Like in their mind, like they must think. Obviously that these plays are gonna uh -oh. work and like they need to play aggro, but somehow during that Acadian Whoa! also one shot at uh Johnson. He's alive, are you fucking serious right now? He's alive? <laughs> Dude he gets away with murder. He eat into two people as Ezreal and his team just flashed over to save him and somehow he lives, man. He's a goddamn legend. Uh oh. Oh shit. Ooh, three man dino ult, not bad, not bad. Dude, Good did you zone, see the yeah. Zonia's value there? Darkness? Oh. Oh my god. This is so <laughs> oh, he didn't kill anybody? He didn't turbo kill anybody. Turn. Dude, FlyQuest Dude, is so falling apart. Holy shit, FlyQuest is so mad. Wow. They're so tilted, dude. Yo, uh, Sneaky, I don't know how you feel about this, but I think Tristana sucks when, when it's Bruiser's in the game. Like, I just think... Oh, I mean, she can't shred him, yeah. She can't kill him until super late, and it just feels like you, you, you get your burst off, and then they just literally walk away, and then you're just stuck with like, like the he, he broke the steric shield, congrats. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Rumble overheated here, so he couldn't all. Yeah. Oh my god. He also and, like, did it again. He didn't ult for the later fight, too. Yeah, he, he is, he's maybe he's saving consistently it for next like ma ma managing his heat so badly. Look, look at Acadian here though. Like how much value he gets off of just going in and Zonia's. How is he not all yeah. right here? So sick. Oh my god. Wow. Dude, he, he didn't have to ult off. All? Like they're all dead. He had dead. two opportunities for huge ults and he just didn't. That's yeah. pretty. They kill like big misplay. Fucking three there with his ult. Yeah. I don't know what's going on with Jose. Yesterday when he was playing Gragas, he missed so many. Gragas ults, and he missed so many chances to kill people with Gragas ulti, or at least pull their mm. flash. And yeah. like today, it's just maybe AP junglers are just not Jose's thing. When I when I think of Jose, he actually excelled in like the Hecarim Udyr meta, and also like playing Graves. Oh, you but know I, what it is, dude? It was what? that fucking Kindred game where they took his mark. Uh, the oh my just god! After that. He was actually playing so well in that Kindred game too, and he got griefed by his team. Yeah. And they're probably like, oh, I don't know, dude. I think you should just. I don't think Kindred is. I, I don't thing. think like should... it's it's a realistic <laughs> ask for Jose to ever trust his team again. Yeah. So he's probably just full tilted. Oh my okay, god. This, is, this actually could be good for FlyQuest. Wait, the, dude, the double lights of the TP instantly. How did how did they double TP? That's nuts. You have, like, how a, one, they do that? You have a one second window in Nocturne Alts where you can and still full. TP. Is, yeah. is Dignitas like the best team in the fucking world that they called out that they're going to react to Nocturne ulti with double TP? It's that not was that so hard, sick. but yeah, you just have to know. Yeah, I, th yeah. I think they're ready for it. They're like, yeah, we're you know, just. TP when he ults. Johnson just randomly died on the on the back end of that. Yeah, dude, Hilarious. FlyQuest is just running not it down. Having a good game. That's one way to put it. It was a fun game though. No, it was fun. It was fun. It was some really close fights early. Yeah, it was. I mean, it, it was fun to watch for sure. Murphing on him. Oh! 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 He lives. I actually think Neo's a really fucking insane Ezreal. He is pretty insane. Like, when I play with him on Optic, like, I've I seen him do some really fucking crazy shit on that champ. Uh-huh. What do you think FlyQuest is saying right now? What do you think their comms sounded like in, like, the last half of that game? <laughs> and they're like, fuck it, dude. We just gotta go for it. Can we dive bot? Can we dive bot? Renekton's alone. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Renekton is free! Renekton's free, no ult, no flash. Oh, fuck, he had both. Oh, whatever, man. We have to go. We have to go now. Yo, this is so free, man. We should have done this guy fucking ten times already. Just go. Up. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I've got Renekton under the shirt again, man. No punish? <laughs> is he allowed to, to just be here? 
In nocturnal range? So not allowed to not get the. <laughs> Damn, Acadian looking fucking studious with his glasses. Looking buff and studious. So are we gonna get uh that Dignitas guy to come on? Hello. Oh, hello. Hey guys, how's it going? Pretty chill. Hey, going good. Going good. Just watch the dig game. It was kind of poggers. So I, poggers. We're so exciting, man. We're a so exciting team. Yeah. It was, it was definitely uh, FlyQuest running it, but Dig was playing well. <laughs> I think it was Acadian's presence that really made the difference. It was Acadian diff. His Chad, yeah. Giga Chad presence. But they looked over at him on the stage and it was like, wow. Look at that guy. <laughs> yeah, he's too huge. He's too huge. We have to dive fake god. Full HP under the third. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, I guess, Vicar, you wanted to come in and set the record straight about the uh, Dardock benching and what went down. I think a lot of us are curious to know what happened, and I don't know how much of that you can talk about. Yeah, that's the one thing I won't really talk about, to be honest. Like, I'm down to answer pretty much any question except that one. I mean, here's what I will say. Like, we're not, we're not doing this for fun, and we're not doing it based on performance. Like, clearly Dardock was having a fantastic split. Um, but he was <laughs> he was he he was really good uh hey, he was doing pretty well yeah but uh yeah let's just say i can't say what happened and it's just not something that that we could work with moving forward what about um <clears throat> like silly go and Sui, i guess i mean okay so so there's two main things that people are talking about right and one of them i will say it is entirely fair to criticize us like the Saligo Yasui decision is that's a judgment call, right? And we have our reasons and you can debate whether that's right or wrong. But it's not similar to the Dardock situation. Like yeah, honestly, yeah. you we can't really Yeah, but that's not really a decision, to be honest. Um it kinda just had to happen. So mm -hmm. speaking more about the mid lane though, like the basic plan is that we think both players can improve more by playing on like the other teams. It's like we think Saligo will improve more having like way more games to work on his stuff. And we think Yasui will improve more by having like much higher level competition than he's previously had. And so it's made a lot of sense to us to try swapping them. And that we think by the end of the season, like week nine playoffs, this will give us the best player in the mid lane. So that's our logic. And we're still we're still sticking with it. Um, you don't I think, think there's any value with it... like swapping them in and out, like continually. <clears throat> like, I think if you do it can... continually, you mess the rest of the team up far too much. Um, like it, you get in a situation where the team just can't build synergy and can't build drafts that they actually want to play. But what about like um, the end of it then? So like you're saying your plan is to find the better one between the two, but then. The whole time you're building with Yusui now, and then like say Saliga is better, but you, you know, broke the synergy you had, so he doesn't have as much with the team by the end when he potentially is better. I think, I think if you keep one player for a significant amount of time, and then you have another player that's already played with you, and you swap him in towards the end, it's fairly easy to get back up to a good level of synergy. If you were swapping the whole time. I think that would be much more difficult. And when you swap in a player that's never played before, that's also really difficult. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. So, um, were there what misconceptions were you looking to clear up with regards to the uh, you know, I, Dardock situation? I think the main one, to be honest, is, is that I've seen a lot of people saying that he was flaming one of our coaching staff and our coaching staff have a huge ego and couldn't handle it. Like, I just want to say that is absolutely not the case. That's the one thing I want to say is it's clearly not something as childish as that. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't remove someone from the org overnight for that. It was a fist fight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're going to take, we're going to, we're going to play a game, you know, you're going to have to tell us for a hot or cold. No, I'm just kidding. That's fucked up. <laughs> but, <laughs> I see. I mean, 
I think I think it's fair to kind of eliminate without saying exactly what it is. Like all the rumors that would be, I guess, putting it super unfairly. Do you okay? Do you guys think that Darduck is gonna come out with like his side of of uh, the story? Like, are you guys prepared for that? If that does happen, I I think you know. To be honest, like. I, I can be clear and I can also say it's not something that is absolutely egregious. It's not like he killed someone. It's not like he's racist, right? Like, it, it's just something that meant that he couldn't work with our team going forward. I don't even think that means he couldn't work with another team, but like even this split. Um, so I I don't know if, if he will come out, but I honestly, like, if he does, like, all the power to him, you know, he has his own thoughts and reasons and... I think it's perfectly fine if if he wants to say them or not. I see, I see. No, I think I think it's fair. It's actually so funny. Like on all of the departures, it's like it's so sticky for the orgs because it's really unprofessional if the org is like throwing the player under the bus. But then it looks really sketchy. I could like totally understand how how like sketchy it looks when the org like can't say the reason why they're doing something exactly. But then the community is just going to speculate that like maybe they're power tripping or like it's it's unfair one way or the other. Because yeah, the teams I've been on have been in like a lot of drama about that stuff. Mm -hmm. But man, that is uh, that is interesting. So do you, is the team morale like a lot better now with the Cadian? Yeah, I mean, we've always had a strong focus on culture this year, and I think this is uh, this is the best vibes we've had. Uh, Acadian is a, a huge guy for the vibes. Uh, <laughs> he says that word a lot, too. Um, <laughs> so everyone's super excited. Yeah, yeah, Acadian's great. I, I like him a lot. Yeah, well... Um, He's a homie. Yeah. Uh, did, did you guys have any other questions for Mr. Bakery while he's here? Hmm. Hmm. Good. Good. Good question. No, I think it was good that you came on and uh, shed some light on it. I think that's. I think it's fair. It's respectful to not, you know, go super into detail. But I think it was detailed enough so people can understand. We now know Dardock did not kill anyone. He didn't kill anyone. <laughs> I can didn't, check that uh, out. He, say that he didn't say anything what racist the against Afro. Um, <laughs> God damn. I, 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 good. Why is that being against Afro? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, like, t to be honest, that would be grounds for, like, instant termination, no? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I think it's... That was, that was good to get out of the way. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I appreciate the opportunity and uh, thanks for the co teams. It's been uh, fun watching. Yeah, I'm glad yeah, you're thank you. and uh, thanks for coming on. Is, is there any final things you want to say to uh, you know all the people watching? I sound like Travis Gafford. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, you're sounding like Travis right now, dude. It's not that serious. <laughs> he just wanted to come on and and chill for a bit. Yeah. I just want to hang with the boys. Have a good time. The last surprise. I have Darda coming for the call. <laughs> Oh Dude, yeah. That'd be so fucked. <laughs> Would you actually just insta leave? I don't think so. <laughs> Dude. Oh I my think that's god. What happens. But no, I, I actually like Josh, to be honest. I see. Yep. Oh my god. This is too funny actually. <laughs> Alright, well, I think that's it, right? Yep. I think right, uh... thanks, for, thanks for the call. Yeah. Thanks for yeah. the chat. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it, guys. Yeah. Yep. Bye. Later. Right, later. Take care. I'm gonna go back to the other call. Yeah, yeah let's okay. go back. Yeah. Yo, I'm back. I had, I had to jump to another call for a sec. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I was just on a call with some guy named Bakery. Did he make you anything? Did you get bake bakeried? Did you get some pastries? I'm so bakeried right now. Wait, yo, did you guys see the Renekton didn't win, right? When it just flashed up on that pick? Renekton okay. has a 22% win rate right now. Oh, in summer. no. Which is crazy because he had like a 90% win rate for all of spring. Really? Yeah. That's high as fuck. I, I wonder if it's Perks... just like the new champs are a lot better against him. But I mean, I don't know. It, it is a bruiser meta and you would think Renekton would do well. Strange. No, I think Perks just dragged the win rate down a lot. <laughs> uh, 
I don't like Voli Renekton at all. I think Hundred Thieves comp is already like shit scaling, and these are like some of the three shittiest yeah. scaling champs in the entire game. So unless they go for like the balance that I love, where you have like three early game, and, like two hard scalers. I was going to go to the think Blood that Legion house for the after Thieves party. Where power went out. Start. Oh shit! Yeah, oh, they, 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 they could be doing Taric. That that's been getting played uh, in other Can't regions. Like yeah. I saw it in LPL, <laughs> LCK, and L LEC. LEC. Taric is yeah. is one of those champs that scales like crazy, and I love it. I mean, I think you need a fifth pick that scales super hard too, like maybe Victor, Ori, something like that. I, I don't know if I like Taric here. Like, if you were going to Taric, I think he would last pick it. But, like, the three C9 showing right now don't really get fucked by Taric. He's good against, like, all-in champs, you know, Nocturne-type champs, where they have a set window where they have to go in and they can't really get I, out. I, I think he's also really good when your comp just goes in as well, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if the other team can't disengage you. But when I see Lee Sin, Varus, Tom, like, that doesn't wow. look like a Taric angle to me. C9 is going full on. Zero percent win rate. Yeah, is I mean Jose's game didn't count, but yeah. I think that was the only game. <laughs> Jose won that game, but his team lost. Yes. <laughs> Jose's team griefed him too hard. Okay, I think Hundred Thieves is lost. They don't have enough damage if they go Karma. Okay, Azir. So that's the super scaling to try to balance out. I still think that C9 has probably. Uh, oh, is he... both comps are so strange. It is. So, so with 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 like Azir to kind of tie it all together as like the source of sustained damage, the range, the the late game, maybe Hundred Thieves has a more even draft. I I don't know which one I prefer. Yeah, but I, I was gonna say I think the Azir when you're against Kindred is kind of scuffed because Azir's like not good at fighting around mid, right? Like I think Lulu Kindred would win that two v two for a lot of the time, and then Kindred will be able to get stacks. Which is generally what you don't want, so I think Blabber's in a pretty good spot to Wow, if he has so this game. aggro, dude. He has a long sword this game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the fact that he's playing like this because he has three potions to one, so he can actually out sustain super easily. I, I really like that he went long sword three pot against poke lane. Just really invalidates a lot of the early poke that the enemy team was Ooh. gonna get. And this is looking really nice. They can actually maybe kill here. Holy you? that was actually pretty wow. close. No, he used it already. Close, Damn. So close. So many times we see Nautilus hit level two first and get like the angle. It's it's because that champion is like deceptively good at like the second wave contest. Mm -hmm. yeah, he just kind of shits on the wave. Yeah, his, yeah passive his, wave, his passive just his adds range, extra damage every auto. Yeah, his range is really amazing on on Q and there's no like there's not a lot. Oh, wait, is Willie gonna either. steal? <laughs> that was so <laughs> close to him stealing it. What the fuck? Wait, what is closer doing? I don't what? know. I'm just so confused right now. Indeed. Yeah, I mean, he, he has the bot move, which is, I guess, what his plan is. He oh, he just Raptor. steals it, man. Uh, that's, like, not particularly good for Foley. Like... But you don't know how, how big of a leash they're going to get. It's a big part. Uh, you don't know exactly how fast they're going to clear or, like, what kind of leash you're going to yeah. get. So th there's definitely a lot of variance with it. It's not, that's like, true. a thing you just can memorize off, like, a spreadsheet. That was a painful trade. Oh, Kindred is in position. Mark him. Yeah. Oh, he's marking him. What happens here? I don't know. This doesn't look that scary really, for something. Double E's. Something really just... Yeah, just double E's. Yeah. Oh. oh, wait. Did he get it? The reset? Oh, yeah, he did. Bye-bye. Oh, he's dead. He's bye -bye. dead. Dang. Wow. Wait, actual solo kill. Yeah, so much Wait, damage. did he not get the mark? He might know. not I don't have, think actually. he got the mark. I Damn, it seemed like that was a while. But I guess he didn't mark him fast enough. Oh wait, Chessing, he did get out okay. Yeah, I, I think that if someday like beeline for the bush would have been his best bet, like run up into the middle bush. Uh huh. And then he can like get the E flash E through Kindred. Probably would probably could have lived like that. Oh. This is a dive angle for Oh, the Q miss from FBI. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Just get him, Sven. Get him. Get him. What? Kill him. He can, yeah. He has flush. FBI's allowed to walk out like that? Jesus. Kind of, I mean, kind of a crazy angle for Zen to go nuts on him there, though. No, it was the whole dive got fucked because oh. FBI missed his Q. Yeah. Oh, shit. This is a. Oh! 
Oh, oh that's the Azir god. and the Kindred that's the Azir interaction. Kindred interaction oh guys. my god. I, doesn't Perks have to save his ult for that? Yeah, he does. But he used it early to peel the uh, Renekton stun. Yeah. Dude, I, I, it's so rare to see that interaction actually happen. Like, I, I see these champs played together a lot. Or like against yeah. each other, but it's so yeah. rare to actually get a fatty one like that. That was nice. Yeah, that was really sick. So I gotta save the, the disengage. The fact that Blabber didn't have flash from the gank earlier, like if he had it, he could just go back into his ult. I think he dies there every time, but it was just really nice by Abadage. Yeah, I, I think it's definite misplay for that to be allowed from C9. Oh like, yeah, no, I think I think for, for sure should ult it too early. Look at perks. the beginning. Of, oh, oh. Dude, if the Q hit there, free die. So sad. Also, FBI. I like seeing who he just go in and instantly die. <laughs> yeah. So funny looking. <laughs> Blabber also didn't have his W for this and, fight. And, like, Kendra without W is pretty Fudge fucking early limp. kicked here as well. I think, I think yeah. so many things went wrong. Blabber's W is down. Watch someday go in and then get two ults right away. I think that's when, I think that's when, oh, it wasn't Fudge. Sorry, it was, it was closer. Yeah, wait, yeah, Fudge yeah, you're right. Perks. They used their stuff to disengage too early. Like before yeah. they actually committed. They just save it for Azir. Like, they have Kendra all. They shouldn't be scared of dying. Until they get scooped out of it. That's where you kick Azir's so, ass out. I, I, I love Girl. that 100... We were, like, talking about, like, playing a balanced comp where your whole team doesn't just go in and then 100 Thieves, like, ends up playing Azir because I do think Azir has a weakness. Oh, oh shit. Wait. He has this flash, is a kill. but... FBI's gonna ult. FBI's gonna ult. Oh... He's so lucky. He's so lucky. But yeah, um, Azir's weakness is early skirmishing, but they picked Renekton and Voli, who scales like shit, but the early skirmishing was really good. So. Oh, oh shit, he's oh, fucking dead. Oh, that caught him? Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, that was like the max, damn, max dude. range. Abba Faker. Wait. Wait, wait. Oh, he kills him! <coughs> I thought Holy. Perks, if he didn't turn off that Q, is he not just out? He looked pretty dead. Zero's flash too. Oh shit. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, is he dead? FBI? Oh. Wow, FBI lives that, okay. That's pretty fucking huge. And a mid turret for his, that is so fucking cursed to lose your mid turret against Azir. C9 is so fucked, like, man. You never can test dragon through mid. Pissed they didn't, all, they didn't want to just gank bot and only kill Huki. Like killing the support is, is not going to change really anything. They're getting dragged though, so that's something. Or are they? Okay, yeah, Get it closer. No balls. Okay. Uh, I think this game is going to be on Sven to carry. Yeah, he's but he's really, not really, really, really on this game. Ahead, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's he's definitely not like in a great position, but I, just, I just looking at C9's Blabber. comp, it seems really hard for them to win unless like Varus can just do some crazy shit. I think it's Blabber's really nasty. Actually, yeah, I could see it. Blabber's a huge psycho with, with Kindred. I think he's going to play like frontline Kindred and he's going to like play on a knife's edge. So he has a high yeah. chance of running it. He also has a high chance of just like baiting 100 Thieves to engage on him and then like turning. Yeah, just looking at 100 Thieves tools though, like almost none of those are outplayable, right? Like Nautilus, Callista, Voli, and Renekton are all pretty guaranteed. Sven just casually missed both of his abilities. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I feel like they're going to need Varus to poke to try to bait the engage. Because I think if Kindred yeah. walks up, he's just going to die. I mean, he could try, but it seems real risky. Oh, he only has one stack as well. That's, that's pretty rip. I think Hunt of Thieves should just take this game slow and steady. And just stack Dragon, 45 seconds. Then do lane swap top with their duo. Keeping his ear mid and just go for top tier one. I like it slow and steady. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Like, but I also like point... kind of fast and rough gameplay too, like our, the last game we watched. Oh. Fast and rough was fun, but like, 100 Thieves is doing it the worst now. Now they're getting surprised on here. They're like, oh shit, they're here. And this is frontline blabber, dude. He just, he doesn't deal damage, man. It's a problem. Oh. Wait, oh, a... the Varus ulti does that not That was really good. bad, actually. Good. Uh, C9 needs to cut their losses. This is fucking doomed. Oh my god. This wow. is so doomed. Alright. Oh! But did they die from that? Four mana no. zero. Blabber's, Blabber's dead. dead. 
Labyrinth. Yeah, so oh, Vulcan's dead too. Yeah, where's their damage? Like they, okay, they literally dead. don't have damage. No damage. Holy fuck! Abadage is fucking smurfing his brains out of this game. Yeah, he's got some nice ice cream scoops. Dude, every ulti he's done this game is just like a miracle ult. He's, <laughs> he's on something right now, and he saw a stopwatch at the end of that, so he was like ready to to blow it, to bait like. Really yeah, I, th I think I think this one's pretty much a wrap. Is that the series? That's a lot of gold. I believe down. so. Might just be the whole entire series. As far as setup goes there, I think Hunter Thieves still can work on their like preparation because it felt like they're like someday and FBI weren't exactly ready for C9 to be here. It's like they kinda got surprised, like, oh they're here. I would like to see them have like more vision control. The this Varisol was, control. was what was really that? troll. What was that yeah. Varisol? Yeah, Sven's not, not playing well this game at all. Oh. Do we need to bring King back? <laughs> yeah. I think he gets no, He eaten. actually lives. He actually lives. Oh! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> someday the homie. Thank you, Someday. Thank you. Preach. Thank you, Someday. Wait, wow. What's your guess, Guys uh, and waste TP. What's her game That's time? That's 18, 18? Yeah, I think it looks really weird for Kinder to ult there. I think that's just like a Lulu ult shield. Bail. Yeah. Again, C9 has that sneaky ward, but like... Sneaky? Sneaky? Sneaky ward. Me? I'm the ward? I I, I think it's fucking doomed for, for C9. Oh, oh shit. Fudge Wait. TP? Is he just Hold dead? Up. This is not that sick of a... Okay, you gotta use everything teams. to get him out of there. Abadagi's not hitting anything. Wait, that Lisa Abadagi's not hitting anything. Fuck. Wait, Blabber just went in. Oh shit. <laughs> and there's the flash. Andy's out. They are pretty chunked here, Hunter Thieves. But yeah. I don't know if they can die. They just kind of probably get pushed. Man, poke Varus when he's like this behind, just, just no damage. This is so crazy to watch. His How, Q is just not doing 400 damage. 400 damage to closer at low HP with yeah. the W. Yikes! What so the game is the game is gonna be decided in two minutes. It's it's really just gonna be on C9 to accelerate the game. And yeah, like oh. I, I like this. I like that they're willing to do this because they I know like the that game they want to fucking run it down fast. No, this is their only way of winning. They're, they I cannot think, win. I think they're all just dead. I don't think there's any chance this works. Let's see it. Maybe they get out after. Some father. Closer's one HP. This they, is their they best chance. They can't finish it. All right. Yeah, I mean, they don't have oh. the damage. Oh, Closer flashed in and just got ulted. Oh, Vulcan ate Blabber prematurely. <laughs> now it's Hunter Thieves turn to just start up. Yeah, no, I, I, think, I think that whole sequence was really good for C9. They got TP, they got Closer's flash, and they bought themselves like a better... Yeah, yeah, they didn't finish it, yeah. so... It, I, their I result was definitely good for them. Yeah. I figured if they were trying to like, you know, oh, fuck it, let's just do Baron and they finish it, they're, they're all dead. Yeah. No, that 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 could have obviously ended badly. I think when you're 6k gold down, you, you there's no situation that's ever going to look like amazing. You just have to like deal with the scraps. Whatever the game offers you, you have to like... Oh, we got a Reddit yeah. comment. Oh, shit. This is the Thank first you, time this entire year where I can decisively say we have a best mid laner in the region. Damn. God damn. Bjergsen's gonna take that to heart. This year. I, as much I as I don't like Reddit too. comments, I, I do think he's playing pretty fucking well. Oh yeah. I think this Reddit, has this Reddit comment is, is actually spot on. Like Yeah, I think Abadaga has looked like pretty much the best yeah. player mid for sure. And and for Spring Split, it was really hard to say that Perks was absolutely the best over PoE or Jensen. Like I think he was definitely really good, and he had some great games. But it was not like, oh, he's head and shoulders above the next two. Not the yeah. way that, like, Bjergsen was for so many years. Or even in some years, I think Jensen was just straight up the best. Yo, so mm -hmm. do you think before they post, like, the comment with the person's username, they go through the person's Reddit history so they don't, like, plug someone's comment from, like, a fucking... Probably not. Amateur porn yeah, no, star? No, no way they do that, dude. I think an amateur <laughs> porn star is going to make it here someday. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Look what Hunter Thieves is doing. So they sent their AD carry to solo the Infernal Soul, but the enemy team doesn't know. So C9's like doesn't know that it's 4v5 here. Yeah, this is Hunter Thieves played. is doing the bluff of like, oh, our AD carry is right there. Like, you just don't see him yet. 
Normally, C9 really can good. force here, but they're too behind to actually just yeah. say, like, all right, like, your AD carry's not here. We're going to kill you. Yeah. And, and they don't even know if their AD carry's not even there. That was just a great, like, bluff by everyone on 100 Thieves. Yeah. I think normally the counterplay there is you ward the drag to make sure you know when yeah, someone's and, soloing. Yeah, and when somebody's soloing it, you take that 5v4 because it's your best chance of winning. Yeah. Now it's really fucked. I think 100 Thieves wipes this, wipes this team fight so hard. Oh. Oh, it's starting off really well. It's starting off really oh well for 100 Thieves. Oh my god. Blabber Immediately Blabber's so 1 HP. Fucked. Oh! Wait! Uh, no, the... Oh my god, somebody just full healed. Yeah. What the fuck, Abadage? Dude, uh, Abadage with, with without forced axe is just such a non-champion, it's disgusting. Like, he's getting in fucking melee range to try to auto them. I mean, that was also a misposition as much as it was yeah, in range. He... He definitely well, I mean, started yeah, the fight like, off so badly. How can you position to hit them without being in He can't hit there, though. Like, even if he yeah. had the range. He's waiting more. It, he, was, he was just the only person even close to the enemy. I mean, he, he literally walked up to Nautilus ulti without Tom Kench anywhere close to the fight. If he just waits until Tom Kench is there, he doesn't have to ult. Tom Kench can just eat the Nautilus ult. Yeah, having so. the ult for the start was the worst part of it. Oh, my God. FBI, like, just... Wow. Zven is really having like a really bad game. <laughs> oh my god. I mean that one's kind of whatever that ult, but yeah. I mean, you think he's gonna like... fucking flame his team again and get benched after one loss? <laughs> Jesus. Maybe. Don't don't do him like that. Well, I'm. So it was a question. No, I don't think he can flame his team for this game. Like here, if Tom Kench is around, he doesn't have to ult right away. And the fight doesn't start off with like three defensive cooldowns being used, like Lulu. Yeah, it was yeah. too much to try and just save Blabber. Couldn't even save him. They used everything just for him to die. He didn't actually get to uh -huh. deal damage. Whereas if he can eat the Nautilus Assault, like his teammates are there, he can have the speed ups from Lulu. Like yeah. they can't just could, engage could they and see kill. the Baron HP? Uh, I don't think so. It's for sure like a, a very impossible situation from CNN's perspective. Yeah. Yeah. It's needed... doomed, boys. And, and that's like what I mean by like when 100, 100 Thieves has Infernal drag up, it's just a win win situation. Like they, they're either going to get the soul or they're going to get Baron when the enemy team tries to deny the soul. They can just pick and choose. That's the point. That's like the huge advantage, invisible advantage of being on soul point. You can do whatever you want. The enemy team just can only like pick up the scraps. So yeah. Now it's been yeah. doing some damage here actually. He has uh, three items now. Yeah, he he's he's stronger. Ooh. Yo, do not do not run up against the wall, yeah. guys. <laughs> Such a free angle. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you guys saw the thing that some of those were doing mid, but apparently they're buying support item at this point. Seems pretty Spain. good. Wardstone. Yeah, I yeah I, I, I saw clean. some. Tweet about oh, it. He... <laughs> oh. Gets to the wall really quick. Oh. They are going. They're kind of failing the, their the engage, engage here. The engage is so bad. The engage yeah. has been so bad so FBI far. FBI got kicked in. Fudge is all dead for this it. This is Hold actually up. losing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Vulcan flash licked a creep. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe he needed the CS for something. Maybe. Oh, the TB. They're gonna chase. Ooh, it turned this into a trade could dive. Be something. Did maybe. Sven finish man? I mean, it looks like he's actually dealing some yeah. damage now. Yeah, he did. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. He got his next item. Oh, with Draven, like three stacks for Kindred is the same thing as having like a thousand stack, a thousand gold Draven like bank on your passive. Uh, I mean, Kindred scales way harder with more stacks yeah. though. So it's it's it's, it's really different. just the fourth one, dude. That that's the only one. Wait, that what is matters. going on? Hundred oh. Thieves is gonna lose. Okay. Oh no, huge Renekton flank. Oh my God, Tom just oh, died that so fast. Oh, that Nautilus was insane. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Oh my God. And Hundred Thieves it's over. is so hot. Wait, that was Nautilus. It wasn't Clissa. I, I didn't. That was. It was I saw both. It, it was both. That's both. Nautilus okay. ulti knocked up like four people there. That was so sick. I need to. I need to see that again. I'm just gonna check it. Yo, who he's playing out of his goddamn mind. Like, he is just so nutty right now. So hot right now. Why can't I see the Nautilus Hole? Am I fucking blind? No, it's, it's really hard to see. 
Oh, yeah, it was just not assault. And then, and then right afterwards, up. there was a huge Callista ulti into the shuffle as well. Like, this is yeah. so good. Yeah. This was a nice game of 100 Thieves. Yeah, they fucking smash. So, yeah, I mean, not only is FBI and Huhi really good, but the matchup's really hard. I don't think that it was, like, unforgivable, the, the, the mistakes that Sven was making. Just a bad game to play Poke Varus. Oh, yeah. I, I was saying, like, Risk Callista, because she rushes Tier 2 Boots and she rushes Lifesteal Mythic Item. It's really hard. It, it's really hard for, to hit Poke. The Poke doesn't matter when you do hit it. You're losing the all-in, and their mid-jungle was, like, so behind. Lulu Kindred was losing pretty hard. And they, they like, lost mid-tier 1 super early. So he's, like, he's like really down in farm. But because, like, Voli and Azir can literally look bottom every single time, you have to play your lane differently. You can't take any trades at all. You actually can't play to fight the enemy bot lane if the enemy mid-jungle can just come dive you. Because as soon as you start getting into a fight, you might get boxed in under your turret and die. Yeah. So. It's interesting, yeah, too, because, I mean, it... like, Varus Tom is traditionally, like, a strong lane. But so is Kalista Nautilus. Yeah, I think Listen Nautilus usually wins in the 2v2. Mm -hmm. and, the, and then their comp just has to be able to peel, but... You, you, you're, like, that's why I think it's so good to play Control Mages, because you change the dynamic so much. Normally, if you took it 100 Thieves comp and you, sl like, you slapped in like a Nocturne mid, it's actually pretty good to play Poke Varus with Lulu mid. Like, you're not going to have like low damage. You're just going to disengage and kite back. But because they had a, a Zero that was actually getting like early kills somehow, it changed everything. Like now they have to dive the Azir to win. Yeah. That does make it really bad for them. Yeah, it's like, it okay, we're playing Herald fucking fight. Lulu Kindred, but we have to kill their mid laner to win the fight. It's, it's rough. This Herald fight was, was what get lost in the game. Yeah, straight up. Like, this just starts the shit snowball. Did you see it reset at the exact moment of smite so it just like didn't die? That was so <laughs> sad. <laughs> I didn't quite catch that. Okay, this matchup mid is dog shit. There's no way you should play Lucian into Azir. That's so fucking troll, guys. What? Oh, yeah. There's no way you should play this, right? Like, this is actually griefing. Wait, why, why is that bad? I thought that was good for Lucian. No, I, I think it's so hard to play Lucian against mages mid. Like, like Orion Azir, like, yeah, you might bullet them early, but it's. It's so hard to team fight. It's a know, snowball. Just that sneaky. Playing a low range AD carry against a mage, it's so hard. I mean, the only way it's you playable is if you just smash his ear and then he just can't yeah. do anything that he normally does. Mm -hmm. I want to see I contracts think, pop off. I think, like, for Jazuke's champ pool, I'm not going to say that, like, he should just play a control mage versus control mage, but he definitely plays stuff like Echo and random majors like Cassidin, Rise that can can push and abuse as your early or just scale. Like if you're playing a, an assassin mid against a mage, you have like a real clear win condition. But I think with Lucian, your win condition is smash him early game and turn that lead into something so big that uh it's gonna it's gonna help like your team somehow like overcome the team fight disadvantage. Academy loves Diana, I see. I mean, I, I think Diana's strong ass champ. I'd be surprised if we don't see it more and more. Oh. I think it's so funny that Speak is looking mid, like. Oh! Just man's fine. He. Can he stay? I don't think he can stay. I mean, he's just getting XP. It's so good for Ooh. PoE that it's slow pushing back to him here. Like, freezing back. Yeah, I mean, I think it will be fine. It's just a TP. It's the second time that we've seen, in the last few days at least, that Jolene are doing, like, three camps and then gank instead of go to the other side and, and start clearing. It's uh -huh. a really unexpected gank timing. No one really gets ganked at three minutes anymore. Usually you get ganked at 3.30. So whenever I get cheese in solo queue, I just think, oh, man, I hope that Jolene gets fucked for this. Because it's like, no one's doing it. So you just assume it's so bad, but... I think part of the reason is when they made the camp timers 15 seconds longer, like you have a little bit more wiggle room in your route. Mm -hmm. So even if you do that gank, like, uh, Spiga still has time to do his bottom camps and then reset towards top yeah. camps. 
And this is kind of the punish, right? Because Spika cannot be here for the cover. And so Huni just... Huni just dies. Just dead. Huni Damn. just dies because... The enemy jungler had so much tempo. And... I guess Jizuke just kind of sacrificed a little bit as on his own end to uh, to be part of the play. That's yeah. really punishing for TSM. They, they spend the early time mid, and their mid laner still gets a move to go get to go dive top. It's really sad. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yo, I gotta say, uh, I'm really impressed with oh. TSM spot lane this game. Oh, oh, never mind. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> especially Sword Art. He's just like he's so pretty smart. much never dying to ganks except for the first Caster one that came in. He's so good. Caster Curse, dude. And now they're going to lose four points to Harold. Are you kidding me? Bye bye. They're going to lose so much to Harold here. Oh my god. Dude, Diana fucked her. It's so hard. Diana and Trish yeah. fucked her. This is just so a full hard. turret. No, no, no. It's four plates. Not four. It's no full. No, really? It oh my yeah, god, it's, it's four. Dead. I think it's he, dead. he dropped the Harold a little early. It's guaranteed it's, full. It, it's dead. Waits. It's Dude. dead. Yeah. No, 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 no. This is so fucking funny. I was literally about to give props at their 35 CS up and they got a plate 2v2 because that's how the matchup literally should be played every single time. And then if they press X right now, I'm pretty sure Tristana is actually even in gold with Ezreal. And it's only because Sword Art died at the most obnoxious oh. bad time ever. What Giga the boosted. fuck? Wait, what the fuck is going on, guys? How did Pee Wee get there? I don't know. He's Mind just, control tactics, perhaps? He actually ended up in the river sandwiched somehow while EG is just walking around. Dude, I have no fucking idea what's going on, but EG is actually 3k gold up. Top is getting shit on. Well, 25 CS is not getting shit on, but it's like pretty winning. And I really want to see them show gold on Trisana. Because like being 40 CS down, you'd think like, oh, she's so behind five plates. For sure, it's one yeah. One I feel like it's pretty close. Maybe not. I think this was probably still up. Yeah, dude. I mean, Danny. I'm just gonna be honest. He got lucky as fuck. He got so lucky that Sword Art ran it. I, I, I mean, if Sword Art does not make that one mistake, <laughs> yeah. the whole game is different. <laughs> it, it was like pretty good gank by contracts. Like, he was like hiding in that mm. spot below where the ward doesn't see. Yeah. And he got key oh, range. Well, well, well played so far by contracts all around. Like getting Harold. And yeah. Not really like going for anything he doesn't need to. And I, I like that he had the presence of mind to think like my bot lane's getting shit on 2v2, so they need my help, but I'm not gonna rush it. I'm gonna get Harold first, then I'm gonna go down when I have it and like try to get them back into the game slightly with some Harold gold. So that was good. Uh I don't know if this is really worth for TSM. Mm, yeah, all grouping on top side. Just... Whoa. Impact. Oh, Impact's dying for free. Very weird. Oh. Yeah, he just falls over and nothing's he used. Knows, no flashes. He, he, he knows that the enemy team was, was on Herald. Very troll. He knows oh, that they're whoa. there. Like, Oh, oh. what the fuck? Oh. Hoonie flashes out. Oh. Next. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, what? Wait. <laughs> Do it, contracts. Do it. Holy oh, he had his shit. No, no. Hey, he's out of juice. Yes, yeah, stopwatch. Bait it, dude. Bait it. No, no, no. no, no. no. Pussy. Run. Pussy. Oh, wait. Fully has all. Yeah, never mind. El, no bait. El Tupo. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, contracts is making big moves right now. That was nice. I don't know if Evil Genius's lead is that crazy right now. 3k is good. I'd say they're right on course for where they want to be. I'm still I'm still on the EG train. But if they make any mistakes, I think it's going to be TSM's game. Yeah, so what I'm looking at is I think EG is just going to want to play split this game. And it seems really hard for TSM to like do anything about that. Because they're playing like a you know a full ball comp. Azir is not great in side lane. Ezreal doesn't really go side either. Yeah. And uh, no, it's yeah. going to be hard to get vision control, just like moving between the map. Like, it's very easy to get caught by Nautilus, Diana. So I think, yeah, even though in a straight 5v5, I think TSM will be fine. Uh, EG should be able to that. play the map better. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Look at Contracts. He's level 12. He's the same level as the solo lanes. Fucking Dream. 160 farm. Yeah, this yeah. is a very nice Diana game for him. 
I just think uh, loss is going to be a problem. It could be like Ezreal 1v9 if uh, they do get into a fight. Yeah, I think it, it, it should be hard for TSM to actually get fights because they're nowhere near soul. They'd have to get four straight dragons. And I, I mean, maybe EG just fights dragon anyway, even though like it might not be a good idea. But yeah, I don't think TSM has many ways to force oh. EG to fight Oh, them. I think absolutely EG is playing for soul. Oh? Or are they? Oh, gun the fuck he has down. Zonia's great use of stopwatch there. Is he going to die? Oh. He no. no, he doesn't have flash yet. But he oh lives. my god, Impact gets the reset. You guys are behind me. What's, what's your time? 53, 54. I'm the same as you when you're counting. Okay. I was reading off my number like a second after. <laughs> I, okay. 69, <laughs> 69. <laughs> 70. <laughs> oh. Oh, almost. No, if he had ulti. no yeah. ulti. Viego's ult is actually such a long cooldown if you don't get. I mean, I guess the resets don't really have anything to do with ult cooldown itself. But yeah, the yeah. ult cooldown is long as hell. I think Viego actually is not going to be that good this game. Everyone on TSM is so slippery. It feels like Viego like struggles really hard at sticking on people. Are they really just going to do this, Baron? TSM is feeling really desperate if this is their their move. I, I, I don't like think they, this is good. I, I don't hate it. I think this is the right play for TSM. I guess if they get a good fight. Oh, they, they, oh my god. The oh, was absolutely contracts. insane. Yeah, I didn't think fucking... this looked very good. Yeah. It, it did not go well. Contracts is just so strong. And the timing on this Baron is so insane for EG. Like, they're going to get it. And then they're just going to run to drag. That's third drag. That's sole point for them and Baron. They're just... Everything is going so perfect for EG. Do you think there's any way they can perfect. finish Baron there? Finish? No, no not really. I mean, without yeah. all dying, at least. Contrax is yeah. literally right there. He's going to kill you if you use anything on Baron. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I think. Mm -hmm. it's, it was too high, yeah. like 4k. Yeah, I think, actually, I think the fight, like, Huni, well. Huni is actually running at this game. Like, actually completely running it. Like, what the fuck was that? Yeah, he just kicked Nautilus, right? He kicked Nautilus. <laughs> oh, Jizuke is... Q got dodged. Jizuke is doing the uh, new age Lucian build, CDR yeah. boost and all. It looks so, so fun, is, dude. Oh, is wow. Oh, wow. Booty again gets caught. Oh, God. Are they all dead? Nuffles ult is going. Nuffles is going to kill him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're all dead. Oh, my oh. God. All right. Oh, damn. Wow. Yeah. Impact. Impact. Yo, his EQ there was kind of clean. Yeah, how's Impact's Ezreal? <laughs> really good. <laughs> is that just game I can't end here but what 10k gold Impact oh shit or not, oh. they're going in oh. oh not gonna kill not gonna kill out 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 I think EG needs to run now it's too much they need to just go get drag and like reset if they overstay here that's the only way they could lose I think for a TSM like they they're okay to give this drag up they have no choice they have to give it but like I think they need to start getting actually kind of desperate and playing for picks. So if I was them, I would want to push out mid, and I would want to like somehow sneak into one side of the jungle. Oh, don't fight this, guys. No way. Do it. No way go here, no balls. guys. No way you're doing this. Oh, TSM, you're not thinking. You're not thinking. Impact. It's pretty dead. Oh, Impact's dead. Oh, maybe it's okay. One kill. I mean, Impact actually just forked it over. Like, he doesn't have to do that. <laughs> It was a forced play. Yeah, no, Impact was forced to be there. Um, no, I think better play for TSM there was to push mid and hide in the enemy jungle. Maybe on top side. Probably on top side. Because when, when you're this fucking behind, you kind of need a miracle uh, pick to stall mm -hmm. the game. No, they got one, though. So. Yeah, it's... Impact's it's tough. They they don't have the greatest tools for it. Like Lee Sin's pretty good, but EG should be able to avoid it. So they just yeah. basically need EG to mess up. Oh my god! If I was on, if I was lost this game, I'd be so fucking sad. Yeah, your snowball support is just actually just gone. ruined the game. If so, I was yeah. speaker, I would be really sad. Wait, why? What do you? Because. You're playing against a jungler that's just like way stronger than you, farms way faster. You're just this starved little bear, can't do anything. Oh my Loss god, Loss is, is fucking dead. dead. 
Okay, Lost is... I'm getting flashbacks to his Senna TK game. I think he can work on his dangerous sense and just general positioning. There's... In the Ezreal game against Afro, he kept getting caught by Leona's Flash E. And then in the Senna TK game, where like oh, they backdoored yeah. with Jace, he was consistently getting caught with TK. And this game is just like... I know it's hard, but like he does make the same mistakes a lot. Uh-huh. So I think he can work on that. I want to see Lucian gun somebody down with his slowing build. That's the funnest yeah. part about watching Lucian. <laughs> yeah. No, he's, oh. he's strong right now. Oh, gun him down, gun him down, gun him down, gun him down. Oh, this shit, is he it. got flash on. Oh, no. He has dash again. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. Sword of positioning is wait, wait. No, he's dead. No, he got interrupted. Oh, my God, dude. Oh. Wow. Sword art is Jizz actually man. just getting paid off I was right only now. watching the calling. It looks so good, and then Hootie kicked him. Kicked his ass. Bastard. Dude, uh, when I watch Sword Art playing Karma, I like can't believe my eyes. It's so bad. <laughs> well, that was a game. Yo. Contracts is hype. Whoa, Contracts? He's Everyone is growing beard. out beards in quarantine, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was like, I was watching it. Cassandra oh, asked, like, played together before. makeup lady asked, like, yo, can I shave now? He's like, no. <laughs> no. It's my uh -oh. beard. That was not a happy game. No, they broke the formula, dude. They picked a ranged support. Bjergsen's probably fuming right now. Yeah, I guess being up 40 CS in lane and getting plate and having perma pressure just wasn't enough. Who needs fucking madge? Huh, Gragas third pick. Anyways, what do you do to your gamer diaper to make it high tech? I mean, it should be able to like uh, hold snacks, maybe give you a blow uh, uh, give you a <laughs> some some neck. Um, what else? How does it do that? What is like a high tech diaper? What should what should a high tech diaper do, guys? Clean itself. How would it clean itself? That's that's hard. That's the high tech. I don't know. <laughs> that would be high tech. I still wouldn't do it. It just sounds disgusting. Even if I had a self cleaning diaper, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it. it I'm, instantly, I'm already hesitant to use a bidet. Hear me out. Hear me out. It incinerates your shit immediately, and it comes out as a fart. So when you oh my poop, you fart. That's it. I think I think this is not the topics that the LCS watch party committee would like to hear us talking about, guys. Yo, what do you guys think about that Gragas pick? The Gragas That's pick crazy is pretty good. Here, huh? I think Gragas probably farts. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, maybe it's even good against Akali. Like, I, I was thinking, huh, why do you want Gragas here? And then, yeah, they have Akali. You can just knock her right out of the Shroud. Awesome interaction. I, I mean, if Gragas farts, then Akali so might fart. be in the Shroud. <laughs> It really makes you wonder, what's Golden Guardian get a fourth pick here? <laughs> They're banning out 80 carries. Maybe when Nocturne ulties, everyone will just let it out because it won't be able to tell. <laughs> 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 they can't see each other. Oh, How are they going to know who it's, farted? It's been an absolute pleasure to be with you on our last co-stream. <laughs> it's a watch party, dude. Yeah. Come on. We already had our last stream. Are so last split. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry. Oh, Ezreal Braum. That's that's pretty good against Gragas and Callista. Big fan, big fan. And Viego. Oh, okay. I like the Recon pick. I really wish that it wasn't set mid, but unfortunately it is. Wait, is that? And... Are they locking that Recon? No, oh! Way. Oh! Yeah, Recon is good against uh, Ezreal Braum. <laughs> Callista Rakan lane? It's good, it's good. Don't flame. It used to be OP's okay. fuck lane at some point. Let's see it. Yeah. Let's think, see it. So, so, like, the reason why I think Braum is, or Rakan is such a good interaction against Braum is, like, you can kind of face tank the Braum Q, but never die. Like, if you're playing another engage support, what's really frustrating when you're playing with Braum is, like, he Qs the Rakan, and then he just E's back out and like you're kind of wasting the stacks, and mm -hmm. then meanwhile their AD carry is just like, obviously never in threat of ever getting hit by a Brom Q. Yeah, um, it's one of the few engaged supports that like 
you almost never can stun with Ezreal Braum. And it's just great engage. I, I really don't like how Golden Guardian says no damage, though. Yeah, I, th I think we need Sneaky Sniper to incinerate this Golden Guardian comp. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I can do it. Big steaming pile of dung. I, I don't I, see how they win with this. I you think if Golden damage. Guardians wins on this, I'll let Sneaky fart on my face. Oh, okay. shit, let's go. There's I'm, just I'm no it. damage in their comp. Golden Guardians would have to play so bad, and they are really good. They always play amazing. Oh, wait, no, sorry. It's the other way around. Golden Guardians has to play amazing to win with their shit comp. Yeah, you're trolling. Ruin everything. <laughs> oh, shit. Solo's getting cheesed. Yeah. Nice slide, bro. Yeah, no cheese here. He knows something's up. He smells it. Sniff the cheese. Smell the cheese. He's typing Revenge it all is chat. giving it away. He's smell Gragas' cheese right now. Wait, Solo? Oh, he's hit. Oh! Is he dead? Yep. I, just, I think he's gone. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, first blood Zinjao. Oh, it's over. Yeah, oh, one whole actually, fucking longsword. It's actually clever by Immortals because they probably did research on where Solo stands at level 1 and realized that Solo is super disrespectful at level 1. I think he was typing yeah. too. Solo's was always typing. typing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was typing. You can hear it. It was huge. I saw some. He had a lot of ults that game. In solo queue yesterday. Wait, for, did you see uh, it? Day before. Yeah, a little bit. Did you see it? <laughs> I'm crazy. Yeah. We did not lose because of me. I'm just saying. Wait, did we win <laughs> or lose that game? I, I don't remember. I think you lost. You know, yeah, there's you confidence when, without knowing what happened, you said we didn't lose because of me. <laughs> no, we didn't lose because of me. I'm just saying. Uh, that was, was actually an interesting guys. way Xerxes played that gank. He. Just Q flash autoed and then set flash and then he eat him. Yeah. Unfortunately, this is the Ezreal Callista matchup that like everyone has been telling me people play in scrims. I think probably in scrims the Callista side looks so much better because people are not willing to lose lane gracefully. But on stage, I could definitely see Ezreal being like way more useful. Just depends on how lane goes. Yo, so I'm receiving word from my Twitch chat that when Solo died, he said, D he typed D Shield Nocturne question mark in all chat. At the same time. And then time. he died. And Destiny said, First Blood question mark. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I, 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 I saw him typing on his cam. Dude, what is wrong with Solo? That's Why are you typing in LCS? I mean, this is actually something that, like, actually, I, think, I think, like, actually. Pro players back in the day, we had like pride that n that you didn't type. If you typed, you're a fucking loser. <laughs> yeah, you're a huge cringer. Like all yeah. you're allowed to type is like GLHF in the beginning and GG at the end. Yep, yep. I, it's different now though. It's kind of yeah. like the StarCraft rules. I, I feel yeah, like culture culture is just different. I mean, in StarCraft, if you type anything except for GG, you're automatically uh, forfeit. Seven. It's not, like most people have jobs and lives, so they're not gonna be able to play. Not like, me. 10 games today. Yeah, not us though. Yeah, fuck that. So Job like when, Le life? when Lena listens what? to a cast, cause she's cause she's like, oh listening. shit, oh. they're going for the dive. Bye bye oh, race. Shit, that worked. Yeah. Callista. Here comes Callista. D Shield Nocturne. Oh, Callista. Uh oh. Is this diveable? Yeah. I Kinda so. looks like it. Iconic should go first. Iconic oh. should go first. Oh, he oh. pulled the Jose Diodo. No. Ooh. I didn't. I did not like that they made a Blaze Olive go first there. I think I Iconic goes first with E, and if it hits, they hit confirm it into Recon's W. That that like made that whole thing really messy. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's okay. I mean, it still I, worked I out even, for them. I, I think starting with like a naked Recon W is also good there, because like that way, if they flash it, no one's actually tanking. You know, it's like yeah, you only start true. the dive if your but ability lands. It is, it is literally impossible to flash a mid-range Gragas E. If it's max range, sure, but if Gragas literally just walks up and presses E. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This is the power of Callista, man. Anytime you're pushing lane, it's a dive angle because the support can literally just tank like three turret shots to get ulted out. I, I hate Callista's ult so much. Yeah, it's so broken. And this is what I think Iconic should just say, like, let me go, wait for me, and then he should press E first and then hit confirm into a cons W, but... You know, it's yeah. all's well that ends well, I guess. Oh, wow, that was such a big whiff on his ulti as well. Oh my god. Didn't even see that. Kind of a fine result. 
Dude, oh yeah, yeah. No, still very good. Just... Two flashes and a kill. Yeah. I think I think Stix A is gonna be pretty happy. His his champ is really good this game. I think it's it's really good against a bunch of melee to play cool stuff. Uh huh. S stacking runons on three champs at once, playing frontline. I think what really sucks about playing Callista is when the enemy team is like kiting you. You're playing against like Orianna. Fucking can't move. True, like longer range, yeah. Yeah. I think I think Callista is definitely like one of the best ADs at just kiting melee though. And that's that is what Immortals has. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, think... yeah, like 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 a Giga Rando. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, that that's how I'd put it. <laughs> oh nah, I, I know you mean it's out. Oh, Oh, wow, that's a double oh, Rakan W. Wow. Shy might be the best support in the league oh, or world. That might is he be dead? Serious. Is he dead? Oh, Six A's dead. Oh, damn. Oh. Xerxes, let's go. Oh, I, dude, uh, those Callista ghosts getting spotted by one is the worst shit. Yeah. It's still bugs. When you kill the ghost, it has lingering vision for two seconds. Why that happens, no one knows. How that hasn't been fixed after seven years, no one knows. <laughs> oh, Chime oh, is Oh shit! Fine. This is always so bad to engage or use abilities on Clissa's support. You just shouldn't do it. This looks oh pretty good for IMP God. though. Wow! The Damn, Wombo. I thought Xerxes was in trouble, but they actually just did not have the damage. No, and this is Golden Guardian's biggest problem. They never are going to have enough damage. Sticks A's movement here Revenge was very just clean. solo killed solo during that. Oh no. All of Perfect. Sticks A's lead is gone now. I can't believe none of us could have predicted from draft that Golden Guardians would have a damage problem. Yeah. Like that's catching us all How very off guard. Know, guys. <laughs> I'm getting information that Clista oh. has opponents hailing every skin. It's huh? just in. Very cool. I think, I think two things. Immortal against immortals, banning Nocturne seems like a decent idea. And so, oh, iconic was or not iconic. Solo was trying really hard to cancel TP, and he ended up dying for it. Yeah. I mean, it's not even close. It, it really it's, wasn't. It's not even close. Revenge just shits on him right now. Wait, you said Solo was trying to, oh, like keep him yeah, from TP. Yeah, that's why he's okay. walking up so deep. Yeah, yeah. Try to cancel the revenge TP. I thought you meant like revenge started it and he was canceling it, but nope. Uh, wait, oh my god, Cersei's so much gold. Yeah, he's he rich. rich. Boy. Man, Solo is just running it. He had a he had a pretty decent start to the LCS split, but I mean this is like just part of Solo. Like oh my he god. has some games where he just hard feeds. Oh my god, Destiny's oh, out. Is Cersei's in there one v4 going in but it's oh good oh my good. god he's actually alive oh. for so long it's good yeah oh they finally got him i was just waiting on the next gore drink kill it's such a gangbang team fight like what the fuck is even going oh, on it's so my. hard to tell who's winning these fights until it's over a fucking quadra go there quadra. jesus from zero i i actually from like this zero I, I like not knowing who wins the fights i think a lot of times it's super obvious these are just absolute clusterfucks. Yeah. But light it. ace. Let's see it again. How the f this starts from Destiny getting caught in the Baron pit. It's actually so funny. Oh, his teammate, shit. look at the ward. He t his teammate TPs to that ward that he just put down, and it gives him a jump after flash. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty nasty. It's so fucking crazy that that's how that worked out. And meanwhile, Golden Guardians just has no damage. Yeah, dude, Why this is would they draft Xerxes like just, this? like, legit killing their whole team by himself. Yeah. yeah. Nocturne didn't even ult till the very end here. Dude, sometimes Elsa's teams just draft completely unplayable drafts, and it's just... It, like, tilts me so hard. Yeah. I think it happens a lot when people try to get, like, too fancy with their comp. Yeah. Rather oh. than just, like, going for something that... Oh. You'll never kill him, guys. You'll good. never kill him, guys. You'll never kill him, guys. Stop engaging on Xerxes, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're going again! 
Get Xerxes. Kill Xerxes. Yeah. No, he's the target. No, oh trust me. Oh my god, that no. blast cone. Oh, oh god, stab. The stab. Wall stab. So at the end of that fight, Xerxes ended it at 80% HP. So what makes you think that you're going to kill him by engaging on him first? Yikes. I don't know. I, th I think they're just getting desperate at this point. I think when your comp has no damage, there's usually like some big upside, which is you have like super early prio. Because like damage, it's like damage scaling is like really what you're thinking about because it's not like Set doesn't do damage. It's not like Diego doesn't do damage, but the way that they scale their damage up is just oh. really bad. Same with Callista. Yeah. So like, I think if I was like go back in time, like if I was like, I don't know, their inspirational coach or something, I would just tell them, Definitely look for bot dives. That was good. Like, like their, their four-man dive was really good. But your real win condition has to be stacking dragons. Because yeah. by 25 minutes, your compass is going to have no damage. And, and and the only way that you could really win is if you have this huge advantage from, from Soul. And, and so looking back, like, yes, Golden Guardians had a great dive. That was a one good play. But they didn't have the right focus in the game. Like, I think... Maybe it even comes down to the jungle pick. Like, I think maybe jungle Greg is just not the right pick. Yeah, if, I, I don't like the Gragas here at all. Maybe you just go go Diana there if it's up, or you just go some faster clean jungler where you just, you have more time to do the early drag. Yep. So. Definitely agree with that. Yeah. It's a big shame. Yeah. The Virginia. only thing also, I can solo, think is, is they, like, it. really want it for a Kali, but I don't think that's enough. No, I don't. It's even not think even that good against her. No. Like, yeah, you can knock her out of her shroud, but she'll just fucking use one of her ten dashes back in it. Yeah, uh, look at look at this catch on Insana. He needs to ulti Perfect. and then jump to the closest, the the furthest. Oh, jump, jump in, jump in, Insana, go, Insana, go. Oh, wait, what? So Xerxes goes, but Insanity doesn't go. Xerxes is actually unkillable. Yeah. Yeah, he legit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's unkillable. What? He's unkillable. He's, He's actually monster. just one v fiving them. Yeah. Give the quad. Give the quad. Oh. Give it. Give it. That was Trick fucking kill. hilarious. Two quadras in the same game. Uh, Baron buff. There's no Baron buff. There Yo, you go. Insanity definitely didn't know Zerxi was going in, right? Because he just didn't use his Nocturne dash. I mean, he would probably die if he went in. Or just have uh, to yeah, run. Yeah, he would insta die if he went in. Maybe, maybe he insta dies, and that's why. And yeah, he's waiting for Xerxes to go first. Makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Because so I don't think tanky. insta dying is a great strat. Hmm. Give him the reset. Like, how different would the game be if Zin wasn't fed from solo trolling at level one and level three? True. Like, I wonder if maybe Zin isn't supposed to be unkillable until like super late. <laughs> yeah. This is true. This is true. Since I was not supposed to be fucking 1v5ing you at 20. Except when I'm playing him, then it's just average game. Yep. Of course. For sure, man. So here what I thought would happen is... Oh, never mind. I thought he would ult. It looks pretty sketch is all. No, no it's, I, it's I, he, he can't go in there. That's, that's pretty troll it's if he sketch, does a thing. Because yeah. Xerxes only got to go in because he, like... Hit Callista with the W. Yeah. And the team comp has no damage. At the very end of this, it's actually so funny. Like, oh, they're not oh. gonna show it. The Zen just tanking forever, yeah. No chime. Okay, just disengage, that's fine. Darkness. <laughs> oh. Oh, wait, it's kinda losing. Insanity done fucked up. Run! Back no. And he's gone. Oh. Ooh. It's a kill. Sticker, sticker, six a, big dick say, oh, no, little dick say I guess. Zerk say is better. Built diff. Any pentas? Ah. Hooks and jazz penta. They won that without Ezreal. He was just pushing the whole time. <laughs> Dude, that's like the third ace in the last fucking six minutes or some shit. <laughs> this is giving me massive FlyQuest vibes when like they started losing and they were just running it trying to kill. Uh, oh yeah. Kill yeah. You guys remember inside. that game from earlier today? <laughs> no. No, I don't. What game? Are they the best team in the world right now? I just think Xerxes should pick Zins out for his world skin. Yeah. 
Dude, that would that'd be fitting, like the Immortals icon. That that works on Xinjiao, that's his helmet. <gasps> that was a fat Q from, from Ez. Alright, GG's boys. Oh, GG's. GG's. I got a important business meeting with my bathroom I, I need to go to, so. Okay, All right. cool. Sweet. I'll see you guys Tell next me how it time. goes. Yeah, right. I, I totally will let you know. Alright, peace, boys. Peace. Later.